Good morning, Laura. Just like I do for the students, uh, I figured it'd be easier and honestly just quicker for me if I made a quick little video response to you. So here we're on the Worthington webpage. Um, there are tons of help tools that I have posted uh, for students to be able to get their own help. So if they log into the cloud and then from the cloud they go to Schoology, which is our learning management system. So uh, Schoology is something Worthington just bought this past year, but Phoenix has had for a few years, so we're all um, pretty uh, pretty well versed in Schoology and how everything works. So they have different courses that they're in. This will be like they'll have their science course or global cultures, all those different things will show up. So if they go to my math course, one of the best places to go when they need help, of course we start on the updates page which is where um, update posts go and announcements from me, students can ask questions, things like that. So they're going to want to go to their materials page and once here you'll see one of the first things here is the help me. So this folder houses a lot of um, links to get to math help websites. If students directly ask me for help on a specific question, I'll make them a chalk talk video, um, responding to that question, helping them solve uh, those different things. Because we're in chapter four, there's a chapter four folder with help me videos uh, that students have asked. But right here, if you're just searching for help, these six websites are my favorite math websites of all time. Khan Academy number one is where I always direct kids to go. Um, and we actually have the students set up with Khan Academy accounts. So up here in the search bar, students can search for anything. So let's say they wanted to search for subtracting negatives and it's going to come up automatically already. And then I can go there and see what videos are available to watch, what activities there are available to do. Um, so like here's videos, here's activities. So all of that's really great practice work. Sal Khan is amazing with his presentation. Um, his goal was that anybody could learn anything for free. So he makes these little chalk talk videos where all you do is see what he writes and hear what he says. So right now my computer audio is muted, but if you were to watch this, um, <clears throat> and some are better quality than others because he's been remaking them. Um, as we get into more recent times. But so that's Khan Academy uh, back in the Help Me folder. So if uh, anybody had asked me for specific questions, I'd post videos here or in those areas. But if we go back to the materials page and actually go into chapter four, since that's what we were just looking at. So here's our chapter four rational numbers. It starts with two videos that can help them. This is a video from me classifying numbers, and then that's a video from Sal Khan dealing with classifying numbers also, but if they enter that unit, just by clicking anywhere there, see we're broken up into the three folders for the chapters. Again, each of these chapters kind of has some videos to start, like how do we, <clears throat> excuse me, how do we add and subtract fractions? This is PBS Math Club. They have some really cool stuff posted now for students. Um, it gets them kind of excited about math because it's, you know, kind of like their peers presenting things to them. But then if we go into chapter four, and let's say uh, the homework that your student is struggling on is 4.3. Well, maybe we come here and we look at 4.3, what's posted in here to help me remember how I do this process, um, you know, how I add mixed numbers, how I add fractions. But if we go into this folder, you'll see we actually have the practice assignment right here, the blank guided notes right there. This is a completed set of notes. And then right here, we have two different videos that I've posted. So this is actually my video from class when we did these types of problems. And all of the homework problems should match what we've done in class uh, almost perfectly. Sometimes I put some challenge problems on there to lead us to the next lesson. Uh, but if they forget anything from class or they forget any of those processes, watching this video again would be a really great resource for them. Um, so beyond that, texting or calling me is always encouraged. Uh, it's just my wife and I and our dogs at home, so I'm normally available. Um, so yeah, I just really encourage your students to reach out to me when they need help. Uh, but I would encourage to reach out to me for help prior to the night before the test. Uh, then we'd have more time to deal with it at school, meet during AO or extensions, and get together and take care of those things. Um, so again, the best place I would suggest if you're looking for just general help is right here in this Help Me folder, which will always be the top folder on our page uh, right here. And then as we go through the year, you'll see uh, more and more things opened up to the students as we go through the different units. And then I also have some cool stuff here for the students to check out uh, a Wow That's Pretty Cool folder with just some neat mathy type videos. So hopefully that helps. Please let me know if you still have any questions beyond that, um, and hopefully we can get everything taken care of.